Sir, would you like to order an appetizer? I'm expecting a friend. She'll be here any minute. If you need anything else, let me know. Thank you so much. Where are you? Are you stuck in traffic? Albert, I'm sorry, but uh, I'm not coming. Well, I got us a bottle of Merlot. You said it was your favorite. So. Look, you're very sweet, and I know the website says we're perfect for each other, but I just don't think it's a good match. Well, when we had coffee, I thought we had a really good time. I don't want to have this conversation, and please don't write on my wall. I'm going to block you. Bye. I'll She's afraid to. I keep telling her just open it and she won't do it. I was hoping you would do it. What? What to say? Dear Miss Sophie Green, thank you for your recent application to Wittendale College. Unfortunately, we regret to inform you that you're gonna spend the next four years of your life at the most awesome college with me as your roommate. Oh! Oh, All right, let's eat, man. I'm starving. You're buying. You're buying. Yes, I'm buying. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Somebody's texting me. <clears throat> Be careful. Ah, it's that recruiter guy from USC. Here, give it to me. I'll read it. I got it. Brian, you shouldn't be texting. They want to talk to me about a scholarship. Come on, you know I don't like when you do that. Take a look at your chest. Okay. Are you having trouble breathing? Our tones are muffled and we've got big changes on her EKG. <laughs> okay, give me a cardiac workup and serial EKGs at 30, 60, and 90. Repeating troponins and a full CBC chem panel. I want a PT, PTTs, and INRs. <laughs> and be sure to give me a chest x-ray, okay? Sophie? You know, it's tough for you to talk right now, so just nod your head yes or no, okay? At any time after the accident, did you pass out? You did. More than once? Have you ever had any heart trouble before? <laughs> okay, baby, one last question, and this is important. Do you like sushi? <laughs> Me too. When you get well, we'll have some sushi. <laughs> okay. It's okay. <laughs> Oh, 
She has a few broken ribs, her forearm is fractured, and she's sustained a whiplash. She's having some trouble breathing. It's better if she doesn't talk too much. Sophie, we're here, baby. How's, how's Ryan? Breathe easy, honey. He's gonna recover. What happened when you guys drinking? He was texting again, wasn't he? I knew it. It was an accident. No, no. the first time, the fender bender, that was an accident. This time, he nearly got my daughter killed. Jim, please, not now. You must be Sophie's parents. I'm Dr. Beck, head of cardiology. Jim Green, this is my wife, Adrian. Very nice to meet you. Let me speak to you over here. We'll be right back, honey. Well, she broke a couple of ribs. We did a CAT scan, and one of those ribs is cutting into the left ventricle of her heart. Oh, dear God. You have to operate immediately, otherwise she will die. I love you, too. Okay. I'll see you in a few hours. Parents? Yeah. They're flying in from a business trip in Seattle. How's Sophie? She just went into surgery. They're operating on her heart. <laughs> Mr. Green, I'm so sorry. I... Okay, pericardial sac is sealed up, and we are looking good. <sighs> nice work. You ever done this before, doctor? Yeah, just a few hundred times. Good job, everybody. All right, we got this. Something's wrong. Heart rate increasing to 130, blood pressure dropping. Have we got a rupture? No, we don't. Are you sure? It's just an arterial spasm. Heart rate at 160 and climbing blood pressure still going down. It'll pass. Hold on. Just wait. Doctor, I think we should. I said hold on. private room, so it shouldn't be long. Excuse me. I need to be somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Tell the parents they can come in now.
What's up, sleepyhead? How you feeling? Like I said, my check just rolled over my boobs. All right, well, I'm going to check your blood pressure, and you'll need to stay prone all day today, okay? Mm-hmm. You scared the hell out of everybody. Where's Ryan? His parents picked him up about an hour ago. He has a broken leg, but he's going to be just fine. Okay. Mom, I'm going to call him. Where's my phone? I'll get it. He's not going to answer. Why not? Because I kind of threw his phone in the hazardous waste container thing. You did what? He's lucky I'm not pressing charges. Dad, I can't believe you. Look, honey, people are dying every day because idiots like your boyfriend don't have enough common sense to pull over to this side of the road. I'm sick of it. Okay. Mom, did Ryan stop by while I was out? No, honey. Are you sure? I could have sworn that he kissed me. You must have been dreaming. Oh my god, that is so cute. Is it really 7.30? Why do you need to go? No, I've just been having so much fun this afternoon, I lost track of time. I'm really glad that you responded to my post. Me too. You know, if this works out between us, I've got this, uh... Let me show you. Here's my place in Cabo San Lucas. The master bedroom overlooks the Pacific Ocean. I'd love to take you there. That's beautiful. All that must have cost a fortune. Well, I've worked all my life, and it's just me, so <laughs> I can afford it. Well, I've never been to Mexico. I've been to Japan. Barbara, part of the reason that I got on this website was so I could meet somebody exciting, somebody like you, and just spoil her rot. <laughs> you don't hear that every day. <laughs> I mean, you wouldn't have to work anymore. You can quit your job. Are you saying what I think you're saying? I thought this through. I know what I want. And when I meet somebody I like, I know it. But we just met. I know, and that's the beauty of it, because I'm ready. I mean, I could retire right now, but I want to share my life with someone. Well, I like my teaching job. Oh, uh, you wouldn't have time for a teaching job, not with the kids. Kids? I know it's a lot to lay on you in the first aid, isn't it? But hey, a little known fact, there are incredible international private schools in Baja, California. Great place to raise a family. You know what, I'm gonna go. Why, what? Did I say something wrong? Are you serious? Please don't go. Please don't go. Please. Before you run away, do me one favor. Just tell me what I'm doing wrong. Because I'm obviously doing something terribly wrong. Okay. We met four hours ago. We had coffee. We spent the afternoon together. But now you want me to bury your children and raise them in a foreign country? You're the doctor, not me, but I think you need to see a therapist. You're right. Thank you. Thank you for the enlightened analysis, you fat ass bitch. Tell you what. What? I'll go to Bellevue, and then you can go straight to hell. I offer you a future, a life of a paradise. And what do you do? You throw it back in my face. Who do you think you are? Get away from me. Oh, I'll stay away from you. Women your age, you think you know everything, don't you? you touch me or call the cops. I don't need to touch you. I don't need you. There's a girl on my work. She's young. She's beautiful. I take care of her. Right. She needs me. I take care of her. I save her life. 
And she has the common decency to appreciate what I've done for her. She listens to me. So go ahead. Run. I don't care. Good luck getting a boyfriend, because I'm not interested. I'm unfriending you. She's hungry. I do not understand, guys. Why doesn't Ryan call me? He's been through a lot, honey. You'll see him soon enough. It's because of what Dad did. Would you rather your dad didn't care? I'm gonna go get some lunch at the cafeteria. I'll be right back. You want anything? No, thank you. Hi, Sophie. Hi, Dr. Beck. How are you feeling today? Better. Still sore, but mostly better. I'm gonna change that bandage for you. Um, Nurse Taylor changed it this morning. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, I have some new ointment. It's a miracle ointment. It prevents scarring. Oh, so okay. lift up your pajamas for me. I've got good news for you. The latest CAT scan shows your heart is healing up just fine. I thought that would put a smile on your face. Oh, I'm sorry. I just... I haven't heard from my boyfriend and I'm kind of worried about him. Is everything all right? Oh, yeah. The latest CAT scan looks really good. She'll be able to go home today. Oh, good. Well, I'll give you ladies some privacy. Bye, Dr. Beck. Bye-bye. What was he doing? Just now? He was just changing my bandage. Was there a female nurse present when he was doing that? No, should there be? Yeah. Oh, it's, it's fine. It's fine. Leave me alone. Mom, could you stop bothering me, please? Hi. Hey. I emailed you. I called your parents' landline a dozen times. Why won't you talk to me? Well, what am I supposed to say, huh? Sorry. Of course I am. Look at you. It was an accident. It's not what your dad thinks. And he's right, too, you know. I could have killed you. You must hate me. I don't. How could you not? I don't, okay? I don't. You always gotta blame somebody. That's such a guy thing. We're gonna get through this. You and me, okay? How's your leg? <laughs> uh, my leg. My leg's perfect. Except for they told me I'm never gonna run full speed again. I'm so sorry. I didn't know. <sighs> Can you please just go? late. I just really needed to talk to you, and I, I know that I should have called first. No, really, it's okay. Please, come in. Well, you have a really nice house. Thank you. I've just been really confused the past few weeks. Well, that would be normal. You, um, 
I've been through a lot. I know this sounds crazy, but I can't stop thinking about you. I feel the same way. You do? We were meant to be together. My parents think I'm asleep in my room. I snuck out. Happy 17th, kiddo. Let me know, okay? Have a good day. Doctor? Yeah. Sophie's ready. She's in room three. I got you something. Oh. <laughs> That is adorable. I wrote you a note, too, but don't read it right now. Why can't I read it right now? Because it's, you know. No, please don't read it. OK. I'll wait till I get home tonight. OK. Thank you. So where are you going to college? Whittendale. She just got accepted. Impressive. What are you going to study? Physiology. You know, pre-med. So you want to be a doctor? Yeah, I think so. Well, if you have any questions about what it's like to be a doctor, surrounded by sick people, just ask me. I can tell you everything you don't want to know. <laughs> that sounds awesome. Well, uh, we'll see you at her next appointment. Mm -hmm. Bye. He's so cool. What's the matter? I don't know. It's just, you know, sometimes I get the feeling He's like hitting on you or something. What? He's older than dad. It doesn't matter. God, honey, you are so naive. Look, the next time you see him, just don't dress like this. Like this? Oh, because a broken arm is a real turn on, Mom. I'm naive? Hello. Dear Dr. Beck, up until this moment, I had no idea how precious and fragile life can be. You have given me the most wonderful gift of all. Thanks to you and your staff, I am alive. With no pun intended, my heart truly belongs to you. Love, Sophie. Did your teachers give you a ton of makeup assignments, or did they just let you slide? They let me slide. You liar. They definitely did not just <laughs> let you slide. God, you should see all the homework I got to do. Oh. Hey, isn't that your doctor? Hmm. Hey, Dr. Beck. Over here. Hi, Sophie. And, uh... Caitlin, right? Yeah, you guys live around here? No, we're just addicted to the carrot cake at this place. <laughs> it's so nice to have real food again. You know, I practically live at the hospital cafeteria, and I swear they're trying to kill me. <laughs> you guys mind if I join you? Go ahead. Our emergency room gets so many car accidents caused by texting, we lost count. It's worse than drunk driving. I'm going to go get some of that carrot cake. You guys want some? Are you kidding? Yeah. Yes. Here, wait, wait, wait. Here we go. Oh, wow. Uh, I'll be right back.
Thanks again for the bear. And the note. You're welcome. It meant a lot to me. So are you and Kaylin going to eat after you get through here? Um, she has to work really early, so we're probably just going to head home. Well, if you're free, I was going to take her in a movie, and I was wondering if you'd like to come with me. I mean, just you, not Caitlin. Oh, um, I, I can't. I, I have homework that I have to make up, but thanks. No problem. Thank you, Dr. Beck. Here's your change. Uh, keep it. And you can also have my cake. I think I'm going to catch an early show. It was good seeing you both, really. All right. Um, bye. That was weird. Yeah, no kidding. You guys are overreacting. Dad, he was looking at me like he had a crush on me. Mom, you're right. We should get a new doctor. Do either of you guys realize who we're dealing with? Hmm? He is the chairman of the president's task force on heart disease. He practically rewrote the book on cardiovascular surgery. Sophie is going to need a cardiologist to look after her for the rest of her life. And getting a doctor as good as Albert Beck, we'd have to fly Sophie to New York. Look, I love you. More than anything. And I don't want to sell. I, I want the very best doctor on the West Coast looking after my baby girl. And lucky for us, he's it. So the next time she's in his office for a follow-up exam and he totally hits on her, what is she supposed to do? Sophie is a very beautiful young woman. Guys will be guys. Okay, occasionally those guys are going to cross the line. It sucks. The world's awful. She's just going to have to get used to it. I understand that, but what I don't understand is why women are expected to tolerate it and men get a free pass. Oh, they're men. They can't help themselves. I'm not saying that. You're saying exactly that. No, no, no. That. I'm not saying that. Yes, you are. <sighs> okay, fine. I'll talk to him. Thank you. Nothing beats a Jolly Witch. A mouth-watering ham and cheese sandwich. Plus, our parents just grabbed them from the freezer and they thought of perfection. Are we on there? That was our snack time segment. Good save. Deli Witch from Hot Pockets. Awesomely portable. Score amazing deals on your favorite brands every day at Nordstrom Rack. So good, so good, so good. I got what I need and if you're so good. What will you find? So good, Rack your look so in stores, on app, and online. In the next second, 14 families will decide. That's it. We're getting a bigger house. Finally. But we got to sell this place. Before we buy the next place. And then in the meantime. So how long are you staying? Emily, no. Oh, a little cramped. I am C-Pop man. I'm not a toy. Or skip the in-laws. Sell and buy your house confidence with Open Door. Move when you... No, what happened was... Um... I told her I was going to go see that new German film, and I heard it was really good. That's not what she told me. Jim, I'm a doctor. I can't socialize with my patients. If I do, I could lose my license. And by the way, you should know that what she's doing right now is extremely common. How so? It's natural for a patient to idolize their doctors. We save their lives. We are their heroes. And they make up fantastic scenarios about us, fantasies. No, no, Sophie doesn't really do that kind of thing. Jim, let me show you something. She gave me this. Harmless enough. But then, she gave me this. I can't tell you how many times I've seen this kind of behavior. My colleagues have seen it. I know it's her word against mine, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping you'll believe it. 
Adrian thinks we should go to another cardiologist. That is not a good idea. It's not likely, but if her heart grows in size, I will have to go back in there. Jim, I'm the best surgeon money can buy. You need me. She's fantasizing about all this. Apparently, patients do this all the time. I'm not buying it. And she may need surgery again. What? Why? There's a slim chance. They don't know yet. But if it does happen, we don't want a new cardiologist at that point. We want someone who understands what's going on with her heart. Don't you agree? All right. We'll stay with him for now. But, Jim, if he does anything inappropriate, I swear I am we'll going to switch. I promise. OK. I'm so glad you came over. The way you take care of me makes me feel so safe. Oh. at this hour? I don't know. Hi. Hi. Can I talk to you? Are you going to be nice this time? Yeah. 
I have a confession. While you were in surgery, they were working on my leg. And for like five hours, I kept bugging the nurses, making them go check if you were OK. I was thinking I was going to lose you. And I don't really you know, talk to God on a regular basis, but man, while you were in there, I was striking up one hell of a conversation with the man upstairs. Well, what did she say? Well, I told her <laughs> that I'd give up everything just to know that you'd be OK. And I've been acting real stupid lately. Yes, you have. And I'm about to get even more stupid. It was my grandmother's. What does this mean? It can mean whatever you want it to mean. <sighs> it's just like, if I accept this, you're going to think that your life is all fixed. And if I don't, then you're just... Look, you have to find the strength to okay, yourself Okay, Oprah. Yeah. Forget about that. Look, I just love you, and I want to hang out with you. Can I say something like that without you freaking out? <laughs> yes. Okay, then. Ow, oh, oh. Yep. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. Mom, look where Ryan got me. I thought you didn't even want it. Happy 17. Excuse me. Yes? Can you tell me when Ryan Chambers has the next appointment with Dr. Samara, please? Sure. Thanks. How have you been? Good, but you want to help me out with this pocket here? Yeah. I've been good. How have you been? Good. Just keeping you guys up and running. All right, she'll be in in a minute. Okay, thank you very much. No problem. Hello, Ryan. How you doing? Remember me? Yeah. You're the guy who asked my girlfriend to the movies. Well, that's not why I'm here. I just thought I'd check on you and see how that leg's doing. How is that leg? Dr. Beck, hi. Did you need something? Oh, I just came by to say hi to this young man. I was here the night of his accident, so I just thought I'd come in and see how he was doing. Oh, that's nice. All right, how are you? How's your leg? You know getting better. Well, let's check your knee out and show me what you're doing. Okay. That's about where it stops, right there. Okay, try to get a little more. What's wrong? Read this. Oh, oh. That's good. Okay, I want you to ice. Excuse me. Did I leave my, my, uh, uh. <laughs> there it is. Uh, no problem. All right, I want you to ice your knee after you do all your exercises. I'll feel better. Mm. Try to bear a little bit more weight, no it hurts, um, and do your exercise and you'll be good to go soon. Okay, thank you very much. Bride of Frankenstein? I did not send that text. Eddie showed me the text and it was from you. Okay, some douchebag at school hacked my phone. You know what? I bet 
It was that Kevin Matthews kid. He's in my chemistry class and he hates me, I bet. Do I gross you out? I gross you out, don't I? No, no. Look at me. Look at it. I knew it. You should see your face right now. I just, I feel bad because I know that I can No, you feel bad because you think I'm ugly and you don't want to admit it. You understand that you sound crazy right now? Oh, I'm acting crazy? Yeah. You know what? Then we should cool it for a little while. I don't want you to go out with me because you feel sorry for me. Hey. Look, I did not send that text. Okay? So come here. What is this? Mercy sex? Oh my god. So check it out. So I got like this. Like, oh, yeah. see, you ain't even paying attention. All right. So uh, hold on, bro. Hey, I'll check you later. All right. Peace. Hey. Hey. I need a favor. Okay, look. I know you're pissed at me, but Kayla made me show Sophie that text. I'm not mad at you. I just need to know the exact time you received it. Can you check your phone? Yeah, yeah. Dr. Beck, what are you doing here? How'd you get my address? The internet. It was easy. Uh-huh. So what are you trying to do? You trying to make Sophie hate me? What? You sent that text while I was in the exam room with Dr. Zamara. While well, you were in the what? Well, congratulations. You know what? It worked. She broke up with me. I'm sorry, son. I do not know what you're talking about. Why'd you do it, huh? You in love with her? Or do you just want to get in her pants? Wow, Ryan. Wow. Did it ever occur to you that your girlfriend probably broke up with you because you almost killed her? Oh, oh kid, come on. Not cool. Stop it. Is that cool? Oh, man. This is not smart. You gotta stop this right now before you get yourself in real trouble. Whoa! Come on. Are you all right? Did you hurt yourself? How's this feel? You should have that looked at. Son of a bitch. You know what this is called? Assault with a deadly weapon on my property, too. Yeah, you want me to call a cop? No. Are you sure? I can. No, please, Dr. Beck, please. I'm sorry. Just okay? for the record, I didn't send any text. Can you help me up? <laughs> yeah, right. You can't just leave me here. You're a doctor. Yes, I can. I'm off the clock. Dr. Beck. just got through torturing me. He's in love with you. What is he talking about? I don't know. Hi, Sophie. Can I talk to you? What are you doing here? Are you following me? No, no. I was I was doing some shopping and I saw you walk in. Do are you have a minute? No, actually I don't. Please. Ryan said that you tortured him. Uh he's upset at me for some reason came by my house. He swung his cane at me in my front yard, tried to kill me. Are you serious? He fell, and when I checked on him, he experienced a lot of pain. True story. Look, Sophie, 
I realize your ex-boyfriend is going through a tough time, so I'm not going to report him to the police. But if he does anything like this ever again, I'm going to have to. I know I made you feel uncomfortable earlier, and I wanted to apologize. Whoa. How did you know I like this kind of doll? I didn't. I just saw it and I thought you'd like it. I'm pretty intuitive about this kind of thing. I can't accept this. Hey, uh, we're gonna be late, so we should go. Bye. Dr. Beck that Sophie collects dolls? No. Why would I do that? Because I never told him. The only way he would know is if he's looking in my bedroom window in the middle of the night. Dad, you should see the way he looks at me. It's like he's a middle schooler and he wants me to help him lose his virginity. Okay, what do you want me to do? Hmm? Report him to the AMA? Yeah, and I think we should get a restraining order. And ruin this guy's career? He is following her in the mall. Well, what, are we gonna wait till he rapes her? I don't want him to be my doctor anymore, Dad. I refuse to let that man touch me again. Okay, okay, I'm sorry, honey. I'll talk to him tomorrow and we'll find out what's going on. No, no more discussion. We are getting her a new doctor and that's it. Bedtime. Bedtime. I love bedtime. The thin sweet bite to end the night. Oreo thins. <laughs> Hi, Phyllis. I'm here to pick up the CD-ROM of Sophie's CAT scans. Yes, um, Dr. Beck would like to speak with you first. If you could take a seat, he'll be right with you. I'd just like the CD, please. And you needed Sophie's signature, right? Hi, Adrian. Why don't you come back to my office and we'll talk about this? There's nothing to discuss. Can I have that? Hold on. Hi, Sophie. Please. I don't think you understand the seriousness of her condition. Oh, I understand just fine. Is Jim okay with this? I don't want you as her doctor. I don't want you talking to her. I don't want you giving her any gifts. I don't want you coincidentally bumping into her at the mall. Thank you for operating on her heart, but you need to stay away from her. Now give me that. Okay, Adrian Green. There we go. Hmm. Premenopausal. All right. Allergic reaction to penicillin. My mother made me come to the hospital with her. I didn't want to have anything to do with it. It was all her idea. No need to apologize. I know how mothers are. I can't wait to be away from her. Don't worry. You'll be free soon enough. By the way, you look
Mom? Mom, you in the bathroom? Mom's on the floor and she's she's barely breathing. Just anything poisoned. I don't know. An ambulance is on the way, ma'am. Okay, when will it be here? Ten to fifteen minutes. I can't wait that long. I'm gonna drive her to the hospital myself. All right. Mom, put your arms around my neck. Okay. All right, now lift. Come on. Come on. Guess who's in ER? Florence Nightingale. Close. Sophie Green with her mom. How you doing, Mike? Good to see you. What's going on with Mrs. Green there? I'm not sure. Some kind of allergic reaction. She went into anaphylactic shock and total vascular collapse. Wow, brain damage, huh? No, no, we got an amp of epi and steroids on board. She seems to be stabilizing. I think she'll be okay. Okay. Lucky your daughter found her when she did, otherwise we'd be having a different conversation. Oh, good for her. Yeah. I'll yeah. talk to you. Yeah. <sighs> Lucky girl. So, so I'm gonna take you along. She's resting. She's doing much better. You did a great job. You got her here just in time. So. Everything's okay, all right? Sophie, congratulations. The doctor told me you saved your mother's life. by well, your first patient. You're gonna do really well in medical school. I need to get back to my mom. I won't keep you. Teachers. Oh, honey, that's great. I'm sorry I couldn't go with you. <laughs> it's not like you don't have a valid excuse. She's not sorry. She's got me waiting on her hand and foot. I can't believe you're going away to college. Hey, you guys. Yeah? I just want to thank you for making this possible for me. You are good. We love you. Love you, honey. Love you, too. Bye. Oh, baby, come on. Come on. Come on. Happy 17th, kiddo. Hi, this is Sophie. You've reached my voicemail, so please leave a message. 
Hi, honey, it's me. I've left you three messages and it's getting really late and you haven't called me back, so call me. That better not be your boyfriend. Can I help you? Tragic news tonight. A young woman is dead after crashing her vehicle into a lamppost where it burst into flames here at the corner of Elsinore Drive and 22nd Street. Firefighters found the young woman's body burned beyond recognition, but they were able to trace the car back to her family and have now identified her as 18 year old Sophie Green of Los Angeles. Ms. Green was a senior and an honor student at Lexington High School. Investigators have not determined if alcohol or drug use was a factor in the crash. Other women, they don't listen to me. But you do. You trust me. You do what I say, not because it's what I want, but because you know in your heart that I'm right. I give you life. Why? Love. My love. Fierce and firm. And only for you. Yeah, you probably think I'm going to force myself on you, don't you? I want it to be something that you want to do. But we can't stay here. It won't be long before somebody comes looking for us. But don't you worry. I have been ready to retire for some time now. I've got some things I need to take care of. And then, after a few days, I'm going to take you to a wonderful new place. Look what I got you. Nice, huh? I'll drive and you'll sleep the whole way. It's near the ocean. It'll be so beautiful. And then no one will bother us. Oh, God, help me! Help! Scream all you want, and nobody can hear you. <laughs> Shh. It's okay. What are you doing? Moving out? I uh, just cleaning up. See you tomorrow.
I know she'd want you to have that. I need to, um... The funeral is on Saturday, and there's gonna be a lot of guests, so I I'm thinking I should cook. This isn't my grandma's ring. What? I know what it looked like, and this isn't... This isn't the ring that I gave to Sophie. The hospital must have made a mistake. Yeah. This should have been given to the parents the night they came in to identify the body. Now, this belonged to somebody else. It didn't belong to my girlfriend. Apparently, it was removed from her body when she came into the morgue. Look, I know the ring that I gave to her. This is not it. I'm sorry. I don't know what to tell you. Firefighters found the young woman's body burned beyond recognition. Excuse me. How do I get a copy of the coroner's report? They won't give it to me, but they will give it to family. I need you to come meet me at the medical examiner's office. I'm sorry, Ryan. No, I'm not going down there. Look, they probably just made a clerical error. And what if they didn't? What if that body wasn't Sophie? Well, Mrs. Green, please. We need to get to the bottom of this. This is crazy. Would you just look at this? I was just as skeptical as you, but Ryan has a point here. The coroner logged in at 12.55, and then Dr. Beck logged in a half hour later. So who cares? So why would a cardiologist be logging into a coroner's report at 1.25 a.m.? Did you ask the guy at the lab? Yeah, he didn't know. Well, maybe he wanted Dr. Beck to double-check something. Mr. Green, if anyone can fake someone's death, it's gonna be a doctor. Riot, enough with the conspiracy theories. My God, the funeral is tomorrow, and you're... I, I can't do this. I can't understand why my baby girl isn't with us anymore. I can't. I can't think straight. I can't function at my job. I can't. I know. I know. No, you don't know. Because you're encouraging this. Look, son. All you're doing is making it harder for us to get past this. She's not coming back. Listen, I know where Dr. Beck lives, and I'm going over there. Ryan, don't. He's probably right. What if I'm right? I mean... She's burned so badly that no one can recognize her. The ring. Now this. Come with me. Don't miss Stranger Dick. Drunk out of your mind if you oh, think she's give you the time of day. I mean, she's way out of your league. You think so? Yes, I. She's more into the athletic type. Well, I'm sure she would prefer me over some soft dude walking around singing Negro spirituals all the time. It's gospel music, mm. not Negro spirituals. Negro. Any. Doesn't that feel better? We should have called. She started dating. What's his name? Casey the Third. I didn't want to tip him on the back burner. You're drunk. I gotta see inside that. Not drunk. I'm just slightly buzzed. You know. Is she really dating JC? Yeah. Oh. I'm sorry, darling. Gotta do it. Gotta do it. Gotta do it. Relax. And I don't know why. You know, we shot that three corner and missed. It cost us the whole championship game. What is this? What does that no, have to do to with talk. anything? Yeah, can we come in? Let's go to the store and get some more drinks. No. What are you doing? We're Sophie. What? Well, you faked her death. She's somewhere in here, isn't she? Is he serious? Excuse me. Ryan. Sophie! 
Say something. Ryan, what are you Sophie. doing? Sophie! 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 Sophie, are you in here? Sophie! Are you satisfied? Yeah, why don't you check in the garage while you're at it? Lord, I okay, this was a huge mistake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm really sorry, Doctor. Yo, was that smooth? Look, son, I know you're upset, but you have no right to barge in my house like that. Damn, we're leaving. This was a big misunderstanding. Oh, we should have asked him. Misunderstanding, is that what you call it? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Adrian. Excuse me, sir. My daughter is dead. Any chance you can get us some? Forgive me if I'm asking just a little irrational. Have you ever lost a child, Doctor Beck? Have you? No. But I've lost patients I've cared about very much. Sophie was one of them. Phone's phone. Dr. Beck, I'm How really sorry. You? I'm sorry for you. Never mind. You, you have a blessed day, sir. Let's go. Do, do you know who that was? Nah, who? It was one of the deacons from First Light Baptist Church. My dad's church. Hey, what you doing? I don't need to be seen with you. I will. Mm. Mm. Excuse me, sir. Could, could you get us some wine? Calm down. Good grief. Go, 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 go. Come on. He's a cop, man. Go, 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 go. I gotta go. I got group rehearsal at seven. Hey, man, can't you just skip one rehearsal? I know for a fact my uncle got some wine at his house. My head hurts. I'm going home. I don't know why we running for the long anyway. drive today. You need to eat. He's too damn big to chase us. Uh, that's a relief. He's huh? here. Who? Him. Him who? I'm a magic Mom's friend. Have a good day. I can smell it, man. Smell what? Worry. I'm not gonna poison you. You need to eat. You've been drinking again. Delicious. No, Mark. At a very early age, I experienced probably one of the most devastating situations that I thought that I would ever experience. Well, the least that I broke me. I mean, properly. really, really devastated me from the inside I'm out. Not talking about My this mother and father got a divorce, what? and I really didn't know what to do. What are you so doing here? Learning the way you tell someone to go again. What are you doing here? Tell me why you're being so disrespectful. No. Maybe you tell me why you smell like alcohol. I don't believe you. I don't have to explain a damn thing to you. Let's get back to my question. Why are you always here? If you must know, me and your mother are going out. You know people are uncomfortable with this. With what? You seen my mom. I'm ready now. Marvin. Your mother's been divorced almost eight years. Don't you think it's time to what? To understand that your mom deserves happiness. Not with you. Well, I think that's for your mother to determine. 
Out of all the single women you can be dating in the world. Sudden. Why my mom? I can't believe I'm having this conversation with a child. A child? I'm a man. I seriously oh. doubt that. What, what is going on here? I've done it. Somebody say this. something. I've never had nothing to say. Yeah. Right, Mom? There ain't nothing to talk what about. what that feels like. When you're an expert on the human body. Wait, where are you going? I gotta you get to rehearse. You do, don't you? Well, I did take a full semester. What just happened here? Study, so. Like time is running away from you. Don't know what to do. I'm not trying to do anything. Oh, 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 no, uh, I'm not. That's good. That 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 I that's good. I you. just, I'm sorry, Carrie. I just don't think this song is within your range. Just for hands. What? Please. Let's let's try this again. I can do this. Terry. No. Let let's um, let's ha let's have Marvin give it a go. Yeah. 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 I know sometimes it feels How's your like wrist? time is running away from you. you grab your other one. Don't know what to do. And in your darkest hour, you try to find the power. Oh. Why would Just you do that? Do. I love you. But you don't love me. You don't know anything about it. Never Wait, to leave. You I know you care about me. I hate you! You, you hate me? You hate me? You hate me? You hate me? Let him get it wrong. I just want someone to be with me. I just want someone to be with me. I don't know where we at. I don't know, I just told him to meet us up here. I mean, why sound like him right now? Because you're insane. No woman is ever going to love you. Why would you say that? Why would you say that? I went here 10 years before you arrived. This is my spot. Come on, what you need, man? That's the nickel bag, man. Your life. I gave you your life. And I can just as easily take it away. What's up, Marvin? Do it. Kill me. He's chilling. He's chilling, huh? Let me tell you something. Yeah. I can reach in that chest you just of don't yours. listen, do you? <gasps> Come on, Make okay. it hard to do anything I don't need another I speech. Uh, you want to stab me? You're focusing on the wrong thing. You want to stab me? Huh? I'm not something y'all need. I'll take your arms. Need. You want to run from me? You should me? be out here running I'll around I'll take your legs. Hey, I'm not you a clown, You want to scream man. at me Shut ever up. again? Nobody I'll take is your talking. voice. And okay. then, Sophie Green, you will need me to take care of you for the rest of your life. I should be using it to make money. You say nobody wants me? It's the last time. Well, who's gonna want an armless Don't like call this me anymore to buy. Like you. Hey, this is it. You understand? Get ready for surgery. Yeah, I understand. Huh? All right. Appreciate it. Best Western Rewards gets you free nights fast and memories that last. Rewards are good for work or play. Rewards are good for any day. Because we care. Rewards can take you anywhere. Stay two nights and get a free night. Book now at bestwestern.com. She's hungry. Who's hungry? They're That's hungry. Really like That's why at Purdue, we're always hungry for better tasting me. chicken. So we use all Bobby vegetarian feed something. and no antibiotics ever. Because when. <sighs> What you been up to lately, Marvin? I've just been studying hard and practicing with the group. Are you gonna come see me sing? Listen, I'm sure you don't want to come because you don't want to see Mom. I have no problem seeing you, Well, then what's the problem? I've been working a lot of overtime, Marvin. Damn. Try to be there on Sunday. Guaranteed. Uh, switching subjects. <laughs> Is Danny or Henry coming over to help? Real mom. No. Oh, no. Hey, please. Danny, Henry, oh. 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 Miss Hot Dry Cleaner oh. shouldn't even be mentioned in the same. Oh, I love you. 
Oh. Uh, uh, you know, Danny's been throwing out a lot of jobs. Let me do something. Yeah, that's a start. Uh, uh, that's I a start. Uh, How'd Jackson do? He's doing great. Yeah. yeah. We, we started studying together. No. For him, you know, my, my grades have stopped. Mom. You know, you need to become more of a leader, son. Huh? <laughs> I didn't raise you to be no follower, Mom. I told you about that. No, I'm not a follower. You're not? No. Where's this coming from? What were you and Jackson doing out in front of J&J liquor store the other day? Study. Dad, we, we, we were... I, I, before you say another word, I expect the truth, Mom. They were trying to get something to drink. But she'd always go out of her way to help me. And is that leading a father? And most of the time, I think that this life makes sense. But today, I'm not so sure. You're right. I can't imagine the world without Sophie. Look, Marvin, I don't want to ever hear I'm about you trying to buy no liquor again. You understand me? Yes, sir. And as far as Jackson is concerned, the word no should be utilized on a regular basis. Finish with these hangers. Grab that paintbrush and hand me one of the rollers. We're gonna paint too? Yep. The sun. Yes. Sometimes I know you might think I'm a little harder. No, I don't think that. Well, it's only because I love you, Marvin. I love you too, Dad. You did that on purpose. No, I didn't do that on purpose. Well, look at you. you did to my shirt. Man. This on purpose? This is an official. He rolls in full effect. Swing the left to right. Might not rock the mic. Y'all need some shade when they shine in the light. Perfect. I'm so sorry about what happened. There's absolutely no need to apologize. Hola. Hola. Did he hurt you now? But the Leon, no. The guys had interrupted. Uh, He's getting ready. Body slam. My bad, no, I'm sure you would have. She'll be here any minute. সান করতে যাচ্ছি কিন্তু কোথায় সান করতে যাচ্ছি আমি জানি না এরা আমাকে নিয়ে যাচ্ছে গঙ্গা নিয়ে যাবে নাকি গঙ্গা নিয়ে যাবে দেখি কি হয়
আর আমি এখানে এসেছি কোনোদিনও গঙ্গাতে স্নান করিনি মানে এইখানকার অন্য জায়গার জমি ঘুরে করেছি দেখে এখানে কত দূর কত দূর লাগবে কত লাগবে আধা ঘন্টা আধা ঘন্টা হেঁটে যেতে হবে তো খুব এনজয় হবে হেঁটে যাব রাস্তা এমনি এত সুন্দর রাস্তা তো আমরা <laughs> 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 বিশেষ করে আমরা মানে গঙ্গা যাব আর দেখো এই সাইড এ সরিষার গাছ রায়ের গাছ রায় আমের গাছ না ওইটা ওই সামনে ওইটা বাগান আমের বাগান 